from the News Talk ZB Newsroom. This is News Fix. In this update, Ukraine and Israel have both been granted billion-dollar aid packages by America as the two wars rage on. The U.S. House of Representatives has approved a U.S. $61 billion aid package for Ukraine, which heavily relies on Western weapons as it struggles to fight back Russia's invasion. The House has also passed a funding package worth $26 billion dollars Israel. That includes military aid, replenishing air defence systems, as well as funding for humanitarian measures. Rotoro is poised to lead the spa and wellness tourism on a global stage. A report released by Rotoroa NZ shows more than 400,000 tourists visited the geothermal spas last year, with holidaymakers now estimated to spend more than $400 million in four years. And the tourism sector believes New Zealand's latest overseas arrival figures are on par with expectations. Stats NZ data shows they leaped to 362,000 people in February, a rise of 94,000 from the same time last year, although the numbers were still at just 87% of pre-COVID figures. Tourism industry Aotearoa Chief Executive Rebecca Ingram says it's a reminder the sector can't take anything for granted. And as a tourism industry, we are contributing significantly to our economic health and well-being as a country, and we've still got some more to come. The Christchurch Marathon has had record entry since the earthquake. More than 5,000 are set to pound the pavement this morning. Race director Chris Cox says it's up 25% on last year. I remember those years ago when we had 3,000, we thought we were going really well. And then we get to the year of the earthquake and just under six. And then because the earthquake hits and we're going through a rough patch again, but we're coming out of it and it's really good. And that's news. I'm Donna Marie Lever. To sport, the Blues have dealt the Brumbies a brutal reality check with a record-breaking 46-7 Super Rugby win over Australia's benchmark outfit at Eden Park. The Crusaders have gone from Super Rugby winners to current wooden spooners after a shock 37-15 loss to the force in Perth. The Black Caps have been crushed by Pakistan in their T20 International in Rawalpindi, pumped by seven wickets after only putting 90 runs on the board. And the current FA Cup holders are through to another final. Manchester City's beaten Chelsea 1-0 in their semi-final at Etihad Stadium. Bernardo Silva supplying the solitary goal in the 84th minute to keep City's hopes of an FA Cup EPL double alive. And that's sport. For more news, listen to News Talk ZB live on iHeartRadio.